<laughs> hello, hello, how are you? I am back again. And today I thought I'd do a quick video about Fauna Fetty candles, what they look like, how to tell if one's real, the packaging, the detailing. I wanna show you. I feel like there's a lot of fake or Fauna Fetty inspired ooh, cool, candles around at the moment. And I just wanna show you what the real packaging looks like and um, yeah, show you kind of the markings so that if you are a little bit like, is this real, is this a fake or an inspired version, what what the real thing looks like and how it's packaged and all those kind of things and where to get the real thing from as well. So um, yeah, that's what I'm talking about today. I am a huge fan of Fornicetti, as you probably know by now. And um, yeah, I just wanna share my wisdom. So first of all, the box. I should have actually put the candle in the box. So let me, <laughs> let me back up a second. Okay, <laughs> so I have the box and I have the candle. Um, so first of all, here is the candle. This is the Flora candle. It has a lid, which is printed on the top, not on the actual handle part, but printed on the top and then on the underside there is nothing, no markings, no print or anything. And also this kind of triangle shape, that is pretty standard for a Fauna Seti candle top. So if you see it round and you're not sure, be careful because they are normally always this kind of more pointy shape. And then on the inside, the wax tends to be just slightly colored. Like, I don't know if you can see, but this is kind of like almost a real pale blush color. Um, a lot of them, from what I can tell, seem to be kind of like quite a pale blush colour. Um, or maybe just like have a hint, a hint of tone. And then it should smell incredible. Like, incredible. Really rich, really floral, really beautiful. This is obviously the floral candle, which is, I think, tuberose, jasmine, lang lang I think sandalwood as well. And it's just beautiful it's kind of nostalgic it's kind of retro it's really special it's really just like classic and gorgeous and just really like you want to smell it like it's not a challenge it's just beautiful sometimes the Sir Trudon candles are a little bit challenging these are definitely not they're just really rich and decadent and intoxicating if you like fragrances like I don't know kind of like Jo Malone-esque or I'm trying to think what else kind of Joe Maloney, kind of Tom Fordy, that kind of quite rich, quite luxurious, quite decadent, really kind of just opulent and fabulous and kind of rich and heady. That's what these smell like. Incredible, I love, love, love. Anyway, they should have print on the front and print on the back. And then on the side, they should kind of, mine blends together. There shouldn't be an obvious line where the print starts and stops. It's a really, beautiful print quality um, and it's really beautiful colours as well like they're really special but there's no obvious like line where the print starts and ends like you won't see that kind of wrap feel it's really just beautifully done and then the actual print quality itself is just really beautifully kind of like stamped on it's not um it's not like a laser print, it's kind of almost like more of a screen print finish, if that makes sense. Um, and then on the base, it says Fornacetti Parfumi. Um, and mine's got a little sticker with a number on. I don't really know what these numbers denote, but mine always seem to have stickers with numbers on. Mine is 6132. I don't know what that means. Anyway, oh, it smells so good. I love these so much. Anyway, so that is the candle. Um, and sometimes on the front, the print will be slightly different to the print on the back. Like for, for instance, some of them her eyes are facing forwards and some of them her eyes are another way. But on this one, the eyes are the exact same. Anyway, that is the candle. Now I'm gonna show you the box. So <laughs> this is actually a box for this size candle, but um, the floral ones normally come in a pink box. I think this came from my owl candle. Um, so I'm sorry about that. It's in the wrong color box, but they normally are pink, red, green. I can't remember the other colors. But what you do is you just slide them off and the card should, 
They're really hard to get off. Okay, here we go. You slide off and it's got a keyhole shaped hole. And I'm actually gonna put it, put the candle back in the box so that you can see how it fits. And then underneath it's just a black box again with the keyhole. And then you open it up and it's got the, I think it's a malachite print. And this comes out and then it's lined with the malachite. And then let me take the lid off the candle. And then normally, actually I've got my leaflet in here. I should show you that as well. I should have really prepped this video better, shouldn't I? Oh well. <laughs> um, let me get the flyer out. So this is the flyer. That's what it looks like. I don't know if you can see. I'm sure they don't, I don't know, do they copy these? But there's just kind of like a flyer about information. Um, let's open it up and see. Yeah, it's just literally this size, literally opens up. Um, there's no serial number or anything on there. I just wanted to show you. Anyway, the candle, God, I get so nervous about dropping things. The candle usually sits inside with a kind of very visible part of the print on show. And then the candle lid sits in here with the top of the candle pointing through and then it folds down and then this literally just slots in to the top of the box to keep the candle lid protected from the candle so they don't bash against each other and then it's folded up here they line up the keyhole with the keyhole but like i said normally the face print would come in a pink box this I think originally housed the um, the owl candle, but that's what you will see when it's displayed on the shop floor. Or if you're buying online anywhere, that's kind of what the box should look like. Now that is for the smaller size candles. I think they retail for around 155, but if you're gonna go for a bigger candle, like a five wick, these come in different boxes and they're kind of special. So I'm gonna get one out, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what they look like and then you'll know. So, <laughs> the bigger candles come in, this one's a bit dusty. I actually had to get this down from the loft, but this comes in a wooden case. It's crazy, it's like dusty, but it's Fauna Seti printed on the box with this kind of sticker which looks like a lock and this is a full on wood <laughs> box, which is kind of crazy. And then you slide this forward and then it's foam on the inside and that's how the candle sits. So it's really, really, really well protected when you buy it and when it's delivered to you. Don't, do not worry about it breaking in the post because these bad boys come well packaged. And then again, it comes with the flyer. I hope you can see that. And it comes with foam. And then let me get you a giant candle to actually show you what that looks like. Okay, I have a giant candle. I'm absolutely terrified of dropping it because we all know how clumsy I am. So this is the giant five wick candle. Um, as you can see, she's looking up on one side and she's looking straight ahead on the other. This is the five wick candle. So this will come in the wood box, whereas the single one wick candle comes in just a car box. Also the price of these is huge. They're like 500 pounds. Admittedly, that is a huge amount of money. I do feel guilty. I think I must've been feeling wild when I bought it, but I just really, really wanted it. I love it so much. Anyway, um, again, you can't see any line where it joins. It again, feels very much like a screen print. The colors are beautiful. Um, it's just a really beautiful print quality. Again, it feels more like a screen print than any kind of digital lasery type print. And you can see all the way around, it's just beautiful. There's not, there's just not any kind of like line of print. There's no kind of finish of the print. It's just kind of perfect and beautiful and the colors are stunning. I'm so nervous about dropping it. Oh my God, trust me, drop it. I have actually dropped a Fauna Seti candle once and I chipped the top of it and I, no joke, I cried. Anyway, <laughs> on the bottom it says Fornacetti Profumi again and again it has a sticker. This one is actually a paper sticker, the last one was a clear sticker and this one is 1948. 
I don't know what that means. And then this one doesn't have a lid. None of the big ones have lids. Um, even the medium ones don't have lids. Only the little kind of classic sized ones have lids. Um, so don't be expecting these ones to have a lid. However, they will be finished with a little piece of card with the malachite print on. And oh my God, mine is so dusty. I've never actually lit this one. Isn't that crazy? It's been on a kitchen shelf for years because um, yeah, it was on a really high shelf just as an ornament, but amazingly, I can actually smell it from time to time, like especially in the summer when it's warm, you can actually smell the candle even though it's not lit and has never been lit. Like that's how rich and amazing they are. It kind of almost acts as like a diffuser in the kitchen, even though, yeah, it's not even lit, which is wild. Anyway, I will give it a clean off before I finally light it because um, I don't want it to smell like fornicetti and dust. But um, yeah, that's how it's finished at the top. I really need to like not have this on my kitchen shelves and actually enjoy it as a candle. But it smells incredible. It's so beautiful. And again, the wax is kind of, I think just like a very, very pale pink blush color. And um, yeah, that's kind of it. Like just beautiful print quality. On the bigger ones, you might find that there's a slight difference in the print, like with her eyes moving around a little bit. Um, Fornacetti on the base. Also, if you do have a Fornacetti candle and you burn it down and you're not sure what to do with it once it's burnt down, I did actually write a blog post on things that you can do with your Fornacetti candle once it's empty. And also, if you are just like, I don't want it, don't throw it away, put it on eBay because they actually empty Fornacetti candle pots go for a lot of money. Like people collect the prints, which is crazy. Um, so actually, if you are thinking about buying one and you're kind of worried that it's a lot of money on a candle, like 100% I agree, but it's also a little bit of an investment because they do go up and sometimes the rarer pots are actually worth quite a lot of money. Anyway, that's my video. I hope it's of help. Let me know if you've got any questions. The doorbell has just gone. So I'm gonna skedaddle and I'll see you again soon. Thank you so much, goodbye.